Hi, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can correctly and safely set up your Amazon KDP account. So if you're brand new to self-publishing, then this video is perfect for you. But if you already have an account, this might still be worth watching for you to make sure you have all the right settings and the right setup for your Amazon KDP account. All right, so let's get right into this video. All right, so you have to start by going to kdp.amazon.com. And if you don't have an Amazon account yet, we're going to click on join KDP. And then here it will ask you for your first and last name, your email address, and then for you to create a password. And then it will create your Amazon KDP account for you. Now, if you already have an Amazon account, you can simply click on sign in and then enter in your Amazon login details here. And then it will take you to the KDP platform. So once you have done that, there's a few things to consider. So with Amazon KDP, you can create either a personal account or a corporate account. So let me quickly go through the pros and the cons of having a personal account. A personal account is what most people have. So this is the most popular choice. And here's the pros. So ease of setup. So there's no formal legal structure required. You can set up your KDP account with your personal information. The other pro is low cost, no fees to set up or maintain a legal entity like an LLC. Obviously, if you have an LLC, then there's legal costs to create the LLC and to renew the LLC paperwork and things like that. The other pro then is the simplicity. So there's fewer formalities such as filing annual reports or keeping separate financial records. Then the next thing is the direct tax filing. So income is reported on your personal tax return as self-employed income, simplifying your tax obligations. All right, so the cons, personal liability, you're personally liable for any legal claims. So one of the pros of having an LLC is that you can have some protection especially if you incorporate in certain states in the USA. And if you don't have an LLC, then you potentially have less protection. And then the other con for a personal account, which would be a pro for an LLC account, is the tax advantages. So if you have a personal account, you may miss out on certain tax benefits that come with an LLC or other legal entities. So these are just things to consider. Obviously, I'm not an accountant or not a tax professional. These are just my opinions. And this is just basic data for you to consider. Most people have a personal account when it comes to Amazon KDP for self-publishing. But if you want an LLC or if you already have an LLC, then you might as well also go ahead and use that. All right, so once you've created your account, it will ask you to enter in all your details. So if you choose an individual person, Person, you will have to enter in your legal information, your legal first name, last name, your address, and all the basic information about yourself. And if you chose corporation, it will ask you for your company name, your address, your phone number, and other business details. So here, just make sure that you put all the information that is true, that is correct. Don't put any information here that is not legally correct. Also, don't put your pen name here or author name. This information here is your legal information. So don't use your pen name, use your actual information for this section. That is really, really important. If you are considering using an LLC, but you don't know how to create an LLC or you want some help with it, the one place I can recommend is using Northwest Registered Agent. And our website is northwestregisteredagent.com. Cleo and I have used them in the past before. They're really easy to work with. They're super responsive. You can also call them and they do everything for you and their fees to us were acceptable. This is not sponsored or there's no affiliate links. I'm just telling you what Cleo and I have used in the past, just as free advice. So if you want help with your LLC, check out this website. And then once you have decided between the personal and the corporation accounts, next thing you have to do is fill in your banking details. So you will see a screen something like this. So I've already added in all of my banking details, but for you, you would have to click on add banking details and then it will ask you what country you are from. And for many countries, Amazon KDP can do direct deposits into your bank account, but in certain countries it cannot. And if you fall into that category, I'm going to quickly show you a website that I would recommend using. So that website is called Payoneer. So if you're in certain countries that doesn't allow direct deposits, this is the most popular website and payment system that people are using. And the website is payoneer.com. This website is really easy to use. We have also used this for certain purposes and it is really easy to sign up. So I'll quickly show you how to do the first steps. So you click on register right here and then it's going to ask you what kind of accounts you want to create. So freelancer or service provider, online seller, marketplace or enterprise, small or medium sized business. So for this, we're going to choose online seller. And then here the options are get paid and make payments globally, add funds from a bank account, convert currencies and more. Simply send payments using debit or credit card or via bank transfers to pay near customers. 
grow my business with working capital. So we'll click on the first one here and it's going to ask what your monthly volume is. For now, you can just select the lowest since you're brand new. And then here we're going to click on register. And then here it's going to ask you if your business is registered. And then here it's going to ask you for your personal information. So your name, first name, last name, email address, date of birth, and you click next. And then once you click next, you'll be almost finished. Then you need to put in your contact details, your security details, and then you're basically done. All right. And then if you have any questions about taxes with Amazon KDP, I always recommend going to the Amazon help pages. So the way you can get there is go to amazon.com. And the way you can get there is to go to kdp.amazon.com. Here you will see the help button. And once you click on that, you're going to see all of the help topics and you can also search. So here you can type in taxes or tax. So this is one page that is pulled up for you. This page is very useful because here you can see how to complete your KDP tax questionnaire. It will also answer your questions about your tax account status, your tax withholdings, depending on what country you're from. And then if you have any questions about your year end tax forms, it can also give you more information here. And the one thing that is really important, if you're not from the USA, you want to apply for an EIN, it can also tell you how to do that here. And if you are from the USA and you need a TIN number for your corporation accounts, you can click here for more information. But the one thing I always want to stress a lot is don't listen to just YouTube advice or to random forums online. If you have any questions, it's always good to contact a professional, like an accountant or something like that. But you can also always contact Amazon KDP and the way to do that is clicking the contact button here. So once again, that is on the kdp.amazon.com website. Then you click on help and then you scroll down and on the left-hand side, it'll be contact us. And usually you can email them, you can have a live chat with them certain times of the day and they can also request to call you. So I would really take advantage of that and any uncertainties you have to get them answered directly by Amazon. All right, so these are the basics about Amazon KDP. And in case you're new to this channel, Cleo and I have been doing self-publishing on Amazon KDP since 2019. And since then we have sold 220,000 books. So here you can see our first account has sold 44,000 books and our second account has sold 175,000 books. So if you're new to our channel and are interested in following along our journey and want to learn more about Amazon KDP, make sure to subscribe. And then I'll see you next video. Okay, bye.